God, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus for your word. Oh, I'm happy to be back at it again. Hey, cover up in my apartment alone, God, but you, God, and studying your word, God. I, I love sharing at the Chamber of Commerce today. I love sharing this morning. I got to uh, uh, do poetry and speak uh, right, uh, 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 to a group of people. Uh, uh, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, they all work for different banks. Uh, 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 Hey, but God reaches the highest heights uh, uh, and the deepest depths. My God, uh, 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 and then about people I love were in the audience. The people I love the most were in the audience. About uh, Pastor David was in the audience. Oh God, that's my safe place. When I got nervous, I just looked over at him, and I realized I was looking at him a lot. So he, I think I made him nervous too. After a while, after a while, after a while. Hallelujah! I looked at Jess, and she, I thought she was mad, but she's already crying. It's ten thirty. She just texted me and said, Jamie, it's your fault. I'm still crying. Again, so I'm like, oh, uh, uh, Pastor Keith Secker was there, uh-huh. and then Cindy was there. He said, that God knew who to send. Uh, hallelujah, God. That's why you don't beg people to come. Uh, if God knew just who to send. Uh, 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 yeah, Father, I thank you, God. Uh, hallelujah, you make the, 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 the decision, God. Uh, uh, you know just who to send, God. Uh, uh, hallelujah, God. So I thank you, God. Uh, uh, hey, God, it's such an honor to have my pastor in the audience. I've never experienced that. First of all, I never had parents uh, support you or anything, but my pastor was there. He gets a different, my pastors get a different level of thanks from me. But my pastor, hallelujah, God, I thank you, God. Oh, God, I thank you for the blessing. That's a blessing. Now, the Lord, make it rich. I said, I'm going to have to be nothing else for another Christmas or another birthday. You have to throw me another birthday party. I could have had a birthday party inside myself. He's there when I got there. It's funny how you don't see nobody with the last name Hard just in the audience, but I had Hard Rubble. And it was the Hard Rubble for me to see him sitting there. Baba. Yeah, God, I thank you, God. And then it was God's gift to me. God, God knew giving me that gift today. It was praying before the foundation of the world. And God knew giving me that gift today was what mattered. And carry me. Hallelujah. God, you are great and great. We should be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Forget not all his Benefits for the great benefactor just gave me a benefit. I'm fit to see the benefit. I was not fit to go to the cross and I get the benefits of it. I'm fit to see the benefit of the benefactor. He just gave it to me. I thank you, God. Oh, because you died on that tree. And I get died on that tree. You showed me how I ought to become the Psalm 1 verse 3 tree. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in the season as he both also shall not wither whatsoever he doeth for shall prosper. God of Make us the tree, God. I want to go from I want, I think, I feel tree to be in the Psalm 1 verse 3. three. I want what I do to prosper. I got about, 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 I got uh, Jesus took the fish from Peter and said, go back and also say, and feed my sheep, feed my lambs. Uh, right about, in the beginning was, it was launch out into the deep, uh, and let your nets down for a catch. Uh, launch out into the deep and let your nets down for a catch. Uh, and now we are in that season, uh, we're going back to the house of faith, and we are preaching to those uh, that want to hear the word. Uh, uh, I did not say anything, but I was in a little bit tumultuous uh, place, right? Because I didn't know how to, how you bring the church. I knew a couple people from my church were coming. I didn't know my pastor was coming. But how do I bring the church and the world together? There's a church and bankers. The church and bankers. The FDIC can't do me. And at the end of it, I said, and I said out loud to them, I said, I apologize if I offend anybody by saying the name God too much. But here's the thing. He saved me. And I can't give credit to nobody but him. Hallelujah. Basically, FDIC, tell your God about him. Tell your God that. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. I stand on the top of the rock. The girl that was running it, Ashton, had actually seen my piece inside the museum. And I didn't know that. But the girl that was running it, right, she told me, she was like, Jenny, I love this. And I saw a poem. It was confirmation from God because I didn't even know how I was going to start. She said that I love this and it speaks to your faith and I'm really strong in my faith. I said, there it is. She was talking about, talking about church, telling about, about uh, Jesus Christ. She was, she was in there telling people talk about it. Hallelujah. She's the one that, she's the one that put the, um, those mixers together. 
put the mixtures together. You think you mix it, blah, 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 jobs, but you are mixing faith as well, Ashton. You mix the faith, blah, 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 and you get people together that would not be just Christian, blah, blah, blah. you get the Christian, and the Buddhist, and the Muslim, and the uh, sun, and the moon, and all of them together. When they start talking, blah, 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 blah and sharing testimonies, blah, blah, blah. well, your God did that for you, nah. My little G ain't do that for me, so that's how we learn, right? Hallelujah, come on, come on, I'm gonna fire y'all. All I need was somebody come and say, ask me, what must I do to be saved? Hallelujah, I do what I've been, ah, God. That's what I was waiting for, I'm still waiting for it. I need somebody to say, what must I do to be saved? I see you saved, you got like that, you got all that, then you got that. You know, and then I, I heard you say you don't deserve it, which is, uh, I think it's true. Uh, and you always in trouble, which is true too. Uh, but greater is he that is in me. Uh, than he that is in the world. For uh, uh, so the earth is the Lord and the fullness of, uh, of the world, and they that uh, dwell therein. We established it upon the sea. Uh, and upon the flood of the uh, Surely, goodness and mercy, shall follow me all the days of my life, and the thief cometh not but for to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus said, I have come, First John 10, 9 and 10, that you might have a life and life uh, more abundantly, now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all like I ask for hope, think, or imagine according to the power that works in us and according to uh, now unto according to now unto now unto him who is able to keep me from falling and to present me thoughtless before the throne uh, with exceeding joy to the only wise God my Savior be glory majesty Dominion, both now, and forevermore, let the church say it. As I finished the ashes, I said, I you, I remember we talk about this. You talk about this in your painting. I, I, I don't even remember saying all that. You say, you say this. You said this. You said this. She's like, girl, I'm over here having my own type of church. I said, you better praise her. Hey, God. <laughs> I just said it out loud because I was most bank, I was most banker. <laughs> Hallelujah! I was jumping, I was deep in my spirit, sleeping for joy. I had nerves, cut out of my heart. Well, back in my mind, nerves are still going, because the God that never stops going is living. Don't worry about who don't like what you bake. Don't worry about who don't like what you preach. Don't worry about who don't like what you see. Don't worry about who don't like what you say. Come on, I'm coming, 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 I'm
his death still extends itself from me. Come on. So let me uh, decide to come up out of sin and turn towards the cross. The cross is always there for you. Come on. The cross of, uh, come on, uh, abol- uh, abolishes itself. Come on. Even though it does not stand there on Calvary, I think they said that's a bus stop now. Come on. But hallelujah, the image of the cross is still there. Come on. The fact that he did it is still there. Come on. Other people died, and the fact that they did it and they died is not there. Come on. Not for us. It does not save us. Come on. But we are redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Come on. The blood remains. The blood remains. The blood remains. The blood remains. Hallelujah. Repent for the kingdom of heaven. Is that hand? Who is the kingdom of heaven? It's Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. What he's done for me. What he's done for me. I never shall forget what he's done for me. I'm singing, oh, 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 what he's done for me. Oh, 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 what he's done for me. Oh, 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 what he's done for me. I never shall forget what he's done for me. Oh, 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 what he's done for me. Oh, 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 what he's done for me. Oh, 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 what he's done for me. Oh, 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 I never shall forget what he's done for me. Oh, I never shall forget what he's done for me. Yeah, I never shall forget what he's done for me. Yeah, I never shall forget what he's done for me. Yeah, I never shall forget what he's done for me. Hallelujah. Could have ever had at the Chamber of Commerce has done for me. I had to thank them because they're, they're the, only, the only people that are secretaries there and some of the people that work there, they know how many times that those pieces fell. Because I did something that nobody else has done. I put clay on board. Clay does not belong on board. It belongs belong on your hand on a, on a thing. On a spinny thing. On a spinny dolly thing. But I said, I want to do that. And also, I don't want to paint on the board. So I'm going to take the board from the paint and I'm going to take the clay from the uh, spinny thingy. I'm going to combine them. I like the way they look. Ha, 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 I never shall I took me to Chamber of Commerce, God. I never shall I got to hang there, God. I got to hang and tell people about you that even work there, God. I never shall I got to talk to people about you, God. I never shall the ministry still extends itself, God. I never shall and most importantly, I get to come back home and just do my artwork and, and, and be normal again. I never shall. I got to lean on you, God. That's what I told God this morning. I said, okay, God, I'm leaning on you. I don't write nothing down. I just talk. So I said, I'm going to do that. Stay in your warehouse. If I want to throw something down, I won't remember it anyway. Get a couple points. Get a couple talking points. Oh, 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 oh. What is done for me? I don't get the minister at my church, right? Because I mean, here's the thing: I'm not, I'm not a man, so I can't, I'm not, support, I'm, I can't lead men, right? It's just the way that it's set up, right? So I don't get to preach at my church, but I got to preach there. The woman I was running said she was having her own church, and she don't go to my church. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for moving by your spirit. Thank you, God, for moving. Thank you, God, for moving. Moving men's hearts, move changing men's minds. God, hallelujah, God, you are great. God, good, mighty, powerful, strong. You are great. Great are you. I'm still patient, though. God. I'm still patient. Hallelujah. This is my invitation to get, 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 get less first. And my criticism is what? Get, 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 get less first. Hallelujah. And I receive it. Oh, if I receive the Lord, that's what I share unto you, my mama. What the word that God is bringing to me is get, 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 get,
Isaiah that's Lamentations 3.22 and 23. I gotta take me from Romans 3.23 to Lamentations 3.23. For all our sin and fallen short of the glory of God. So what do we need when we are sin? We need mercy to go from Romans 3.23 to Lamentations 3.23 and get new mercies. Every day he promised me new mercies. All I gotta do is believe and get get my mercies. And then we get my mercies. I ever get, 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 I'm not less Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are great God, mama. and good, mama. and great is your faithfulness, and wonderful, mama. you are wonderful God, we love you God, in Jesus' name, yes, yeah, so be it in Jesus' name, 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 oh. What did you tell Peter, he said, Peter, 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 I think he said, Simon. Simon, feed my sheep. Simon, feed my lambs. Peter, tend, tend, tend my lambs. This is a, 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 a sort of an odd topic for me because I said, why all the changes? And like, Here's the thing, Jesus was repeating what he was saying but in a rep- non-repetitious way. He said the same thing over and over again except he said it in a non-repetitious way, right? No, no, no line that I just said for you is the same, but for, that's for, for the discerning eye, but the person that, does, that misses it and will not look at it, every line seems the same. When we look at it, we say line upon line and precept upon precept. I still don't know what that means. And then you know, Jamie, I refuse to look stuff up, because I don't know if you know what you're talking about when I look it up. I'm going to ask my pastor, thank you, bye. Because <laughs> you can put those lines on top of lines, you can put those precepts on top of precepts, but... What does precept mean, really? Oddly enough, when they wrote in the Bible, right? The Old Testament is in Hebrew and the New Testament is in the Greek. Hmm? And the way that they wrote it, right, it always, it, it actually lined up. It lined up so that it was a one continuous sentence. For me. There were no punctuation marks. So line on top of line and precept on top of precept, how could you have a line on top of another line when the line does not yet exist? It seems as though he was speaking to us in this time, right? Telling us that we would have lines. You will have lines, don't run from the lines. Right now they don't have lines. In fact, I say write and read the, the, the wording of the Bible is one sentence. But you, you will have lines. You have lines, you have rules, you have things to follow. But the thing that you must remember is God trumps all, doesn't he? Hmm. Simon feeds my sheep. It was funny because I made a point of the SSO so odd, right? Because when Jesus first met Simon, right, he stepped into Simon's boat. He stepped right into it and he sat down and he said, launch out into the deep and let down your nets. For a catch, we put, we pay attention to the wrong things. We put precepts on the wrong things. A precept, but that's a precept for me. I don't know what precept is, but I'm gonna put a precept there. I like a precept there. Mm-hmm. But what he said, he said, launch out into the deep, the deep, and let down your nets for a catch. Well, we already did it to master, right? Here's the thing, because at this point, at this point, it's not clear in Mark whether, G, whether Peter, James, uh, Andrew, and John had started working, uh, started being disciples by Jesus yet, and had left John. It wasn't clear, right, that, 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 that the mindsets were clear of the John the, the road, and they, they had picked up the Jesus road. It wasn't clear whether they had actually um, accepted their responsibility of, of walking right behind Jesus. Or when he called him master, did he mean it or was he saying it sarcastically? Ah! When Jesus, uh, when Jesus first talks to Peter right, at, at the, with, at, on the shore, where there was a, where he's cooking fish for them, he said, when he said, uh, Simon, do you love me? Simon, do you love me? Simon, do you love me? In our language, I told Pastor Keith, in our language, love just looks like love. But in their language, right, uh, and we're supposed to understand what it means. We're supposed to understand, say, I don't love you like that. I love you as a friend. And the other language is not like that. They have words for it. I eros you. I storge you. I gape you. I 
filet on you, or not filet you, because I don't want to cook you. I'm going to slice you up to cook you. That's not what I'm trying to do. Right? But, and there's one word that I'm missing. There's, a, there's five different terms, I believe, for love. You want to know, right, somebody's love language. Why don't you learn to speak the language of love? Jesus asked Simon, what did he say? He said, do you love me? Right? And Jesus had a mark for Simon to reach. He wanted Simon to love him agape wise. I kind of disagree with Pastor Kiseko on this point because Pastor Kiseko said Jesus did not take down because of that because he um he, he let Peter, Peter go. He, he took down because of the fact that he knew Peter would never reach the mark of agape at that point. He did not want Peter's mind to be destroyed. I disagree with Pastor Kiseko in that, not in the of what was going on in the situation. I disagree with Pastor Kiseko in the imagery of it. Right? It's Jesus. Uh, Jesus is asking uh, Peter, right? Because he said that if you, if you ask him for too much, uh, he will be destroyed. Uh, uh, Peter is a picture of the church. That's why I see her. And a church is a, Peter is a picture of the solid rock. Matthew 16 said it, right? Uh, and on this rock I build my church and the gates of hell should not prevail against it. Uh, uh, hallelujah. If you are called to be the rock. You can't lower the standard for the church, right? So because if you do, then the church will lower itself. The church is normally laid back and lacks the days of gold cream come inside the household and they say they sit and say feed me they don't want to do anything to eat they want they say feed me right so the thing is if I lower my standards see here's the thing I can't, I can't agree with uh, Pastor Keith said that Jesus was lowering uh, his standard to meet Peter because Peter would basically explode if he couldn't meet the standard I believe in my heart of hearts though is that if you love God you'll come up to, 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 to the level I was just having a chamber of commerce. I said, okay, what am I going to talk about on my blog today? I just had to speak at the chamber of commerce, right? And I said, okay, what am I going to talk about on my blog today? I had a blast of chamber of commerce, right? So many people were there that I love. And I said, what am I going to talk about on my blog today? When I get home, I have an art piece in the making on the floor that I started this morning. I want to be finished with it by this morning, but I didn't have time to do it. Right? So it's still sitting on the floor. I'm in the living room. As soon as I'm done with my blog, I'm going in there and finish my art piece. I'm going back to business as usual. Well, mama, I said, my business as usual does not look like an assignment going back to the fish. When you let me, the church, get away with it, get away with doing whatever I want to do, I will not meet the mark. I don't believe Jesus was doing it for that reason. Hallelujah. Because if he let him, if I let you, I said you got agape me. I showed agape on the cross. And I agree with Pastor Keith second there. He showed agape on the cross. So why, how is it that Peter gets away with a story again? No, no, no. The pastor said that the word was phileo. How do you get away with a phileo? How do you get away with phileo? When the way, the truth, and the light has just about laid down his life. He said, I'm the resurrection and the life that he laid down his life. He said, as a thief comes out before the steal, kill, destroy, but I have come that you might have a life and life more abundantly. First John 10, 9 and 10. How do you come out and get away with giving me a phileo when I give out my life for you? How do you get away with giving me a phileo when I gave you an agape too? How do you give me a phileo when I laid down everything I've got for you. Uh, I walk the road of death. Uh, blah, blah, blah. David said, yeah, go, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. The problem with the valley of the shadow of death is that it's a law. See some laws. The valley of the shadow of death is a, a blatant law. Yay! I got issue with it. Yay. I said, what is this? He's saying, yay. Woo, woo, yay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. What is he saying, yay? Like, we, um, we asked him, my, my uncle, his name is Daniel. But everybody called him yay, yay. Grandma, gave, grandma called him yay, yay. Grandma passed on. His name is yay, yay. Everybody called him yay, yay. I don't know him as yay. If I see him, I call him uncle yay, yay. So when I went, when Uncle Yay was coming, because I said Yay when he walked in the door, everybody loved him so much. Right? So if, if Uncle Yay is coming to the house, right, we don't think Uncle Daniel, we think Uncle Yay Yay. I, ne- I did not know his name was Daniel until I was like 25. Oh yeah, Daniel in the kitchen. Who is Daniel? <laughs> for real, for real, for real. I didn't know. I thought his name really was Yay Yay. No, wrong. We called him that all our lives. How would I know? That's our identifier, right? I, I, I see him. I see my Lord's name is Daniel now. It's on the birth certificate, right? But he has gone. He has been identified as Yay Yay. Party people, party people, party people in the house, right? He's 
about this. His name is Daniel, right? And I look about Daniel. I think about Daniel in the lion's down strong. He was. He was a praying man. We don't. I don't look at him like Daniel, a praying man. I look when I see him coming. I think, yay! We about to have a party now. Nicknames are always bad. You give somebody a nickname, and when you see them, you look at them and you see their name, the nickname that you gave them. Most nickname me fat, dumb, and stupid. Let's just be honest. I was a size eight, and she said I was too fat. I had to work out with her. So she made me do the exercise that she was doing that were not working for her. She put me on a regimen that was not working for her. Because I was a size eight and I was fat at 16. Yay! How about that? When you tell me, when you give me a nickname, it's always a lie, right? Because I'm calling you what I want you to be, so that you will be that always in my eyes. Speak to the mountain. You don't know that there's a mountain there unless you see it there. So when you see the mountain, you see you identify it as a mountain. So you speak to the mountain and watch it be removed and cast itself into the sea, right? You see, you see it doing what it's supposed to do. That's why I think you don't let nobody nickname you because it's powerful in the spiritual world. We just like, you give, they give you a nickname, they are nicking at your name. I thought you guys like a man shaving. If he nicks at his face, right, we don't think about this. If he nicks at his face, the man is left bleeding. Ow, so like to put some, a cotton or whatever on his face. So it's a job noise. I don't know what those things are, they put it on his face, right? But after he does that, we don't think about the fact that that razor nicked at his skin, and that razor collected his skin. That person nicknaming you, nicked at your name, nicked at your skin, and then they collected your skin. They walk away from a piece of you. Whether you authorize it or not, whether you agree with it or not, they, you let them call that nick at your name, they walk away with a piece of you, right? And you never know what piece they are going to get. Are you going to get my piece? P-I-E-C-E or are you going to get my, -E -E? my P-E-A-C-E? You going to walk away with my piece? A piece of God that surpasses all understanding. No matter how will I be not anxious, if I, how will I be not anxious? You walk in the peace of God. I told y'all the ministry to be here. Be not, and after God tells you, be not and be not conformed to this world, but be ye. Y'all, the leads with leads you with an option after that. But be ye. He tells you what to be. Be not overcome of evil in the same chapter. That's this verse twenty-one. But overcome evil with good. You can need to be overcomer. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. So I say you need to be overcoming. How do we overcome? The Bible says we overcome by the blood and the Lamb, the word of our testimony. You always have the option. When he tells you not to be something, he tells you then what to be. Because he's going to leave that spot open for you to fill it in. Because knowing you, knowing human consciousness, we will leave our names behind and fill that spot in with a nick at our name. Nick at my name. Nick. Nick, 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 Nickelodeon. <laughs> Let people nick out our names. Yay! I don't know that man. I, I, I grew up around Uncle Yay. I don't know him as Daniel. Daniel Man. Then I said his man. That's his family name. I don't know him as Daniel. I know him as Uncle Yay. And whenever I remember, whenever he came to the house, I always expected, I always expected the moment Uncle Yay came to the house that everything always brightened up. Everything always uh, uh, lifted, right? Be, if there's a depression on the house or it's just terrible. The moment we know Uncle Ye is coming, even if it has not lifted yet, our spirits lift because we know Uncle Ye is coming. Uncle Ye is coming. Uncle Party is coming. Uncle Party time is coming. Uncle Woo 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 is coming. Uncle. It's a lie. Because if I nick at your name, when do you get to be who you really are? If I make it your name and call you Uncle Yeye, then when, when, what happens when you are Daniel? He's Daniel at work. So what happens when you are Daniel? Do you ever get to be Daniel and relax in your name? How do you feel having to bounce back and forth between two identities? For me, because the fact that I call you the name that I want to see, right? I'm supposed to be looking at my mountains and calling them what they are and, cast, and having themselves cast themselves to the sea. But I turn around and I, what I do to you is I make you my mountain and make you cast yourself into the sea. Why? Because I make at your name. And it's always a lie. Yay! That's a lie. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, so I will not want for anything. I don't long for anything, right? About, I don't need anything. It's not that I will never want anything. Just still have to go with it. Understand it, right? It's a model prayer. I do not. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd. I do not want. And I don't. Well, I've never seen the righteous second, nor seed begging bread. So I don't. I'm not, it's a begging type thing. I'm not wanting. I'm not desiring. I'm not dying. 
to get it. The Lord is my shepherd. And when I'm walking as the, with, with the Lord as my shepherd, he's leading me, right? When he does that and I let him lead me, I am not the, what the Bible says, do not say that God tests or tempt you, but you are tested and tempted when you are drawn away by your own lust and enticed, by your own lust and desire. You are drawn away by when you are enticed by your own lust and desires. You yourself. 